ostium of external ear so first let us see the structure of the ear the ear can be divided into three parts external ear middle ear and inner ear the external ear has got two parts it has got a cartilaginous part and a bony part cartilaginous part is outside bony part is nearer to the ear drum so what happens in this condition is that there is outgrowth of the bone the reason being chronic irritation in the inner part chronic irritation because of two reasons one is maybe there is recurrent infection of the external ear which is termed as otitis externa and the second being infection in the middle ear that is chronic otitis media in that condition there will be a small perforation in the eardrum and pus pours out from that 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 pus keeps on discharging uh, irritating the external ear so in short chronic irritation or chronic inflammation of the inner part of the external auditory canal leads to ingrowth of the bone and usually in this condition it is seen in the upper part there's a suture line or bone bony fusion area in that part you can find a osteoma which is single and it is seen only in one side of the body one side of the ear it's not on both the ears so like how you see in this picture so this is the osteoma seen in the from the suture line and it is single it's seen only in one side so that is the definition of osteoma of the external auditory canal now this i have already mentioned the cause for that now the presentation the presentation if the osteoma happens to be small the patient will not have any complaint at all it be incidental finding when he comes to the hospital to meet us for some other cause some other cause which is related to the ear when we examine we find a osteoma but in case the osteoma is big enough he may say that the ear is irritating or itching all the time often and suppose the size is a little more bigger in size he can have a hearing loss too in that case the lumen there of the external auditory canal will become smaller that's why he has got a hearing loss on examination when you see the external ear that is with the help of a camera which so so that you can visualize well you will see a small osteoma here which is single seen only in one side seen at the suture line so why i am specifying it is single and it is only in one side and uh, seen in the suture line because there is one more condition which is called as exostosis which is common in those exposed to cold water and cold wind that is in swimmers and uh, in those who take surfing as a sports what happens in that condition they develop exostosis exostosis means it's again bony in growth here like how you have seen the bony in growth like this but exostosis it is not single bone growth it will be multiple bone growth in the same year and it is not in the suture line it can be anywhere and it will be seen on both the ears and there will be definite history in most of the cases they will say there is exposure to cold water and uh, and or cold wind that is exostosis what we are talking now is not exostosis it is osteoma where it is single seen in suture line and it is only in one side of the ear so now we can reconfirm the diagnosis with a ct scan suppose a patient doesn't have any complaint there is no further treatment suppose a patient has got multiple complaints like he says he gets infection again and again in the external auditory canal or his wax is not able to come out properly and he is getting impacted and he needs to go to the doctor to remove it often or he has got a hearing loss which is because of osteoma or we need to um do some surgery in the middle ear and the presence of osteoma in the canal it hampers the surgery in all this condition we need to remove the osteoma so these are the indications for removal of osteoma so this is about osteoma of the external auditory canal thank you so much